Lolly debut! Today we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Melissa and see how she fares in Guild War. So here is Melissa and as you can see she does have some skill ups into her S3 and S2 so we can get some more extra damage. Not all the way up because I'm still skeptical but yeah I have her on attack set to get as high attack as possible and some crit damage speed and uh, crit chance. So what I've been using her with Tamarine and Asaria along with my lovely, uh, oh, where's she at? <laughs> Yufine. I've been using it with Yufine. So Melissa goes before Yufine. She puts a curse on someone, attacks someone else, usually killing the other person after a area defense breaks them. And then Yufine comes in and kills like an SSB or a Dizzy and then kills the curse target as well due to all the damage. So that is where her uh, niche is being used right now. That's her best use, I guess, is with Tamasaria, or you can go with something like um, Basar and Tywin. But yeah, let's get into the Guild War. Today we're going to be facing Halo. Oh. Alright, for round one, we're going to be going against this guy. He's got a Ken, an Angelica, and an SSB on top, so we're going to use Tywin to either push up my Yufin to one-shot the SSB, or if they don't have immunity, I'll use the AoE defense break thingy, and then CDOM should take care of uh, Ken with a soul burn, hopefully. And the team below, Melissa with Tamasaria, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try to take out that Ken, defense break him with Asaria first. I'll tag the curse onto the Axe God, and then I'll one shot Ken with her S2, hopefully. That's the plan. And then we'll take care of uh, Mama Rinsi by herself. But yeah, let's give it a go. Let's see how she fares in the first match. Do I need my sword? Okay. He needs a sword. So SSB has immunity, so I think I'll just push up my Yufin up. Fight. And one shot the uh, watch me. One shot this guy. You'll bye bye. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So yeah, Yufin's my power of Nixie. I will show you. The power of Nixie. The power of Nixie. Yufin's my SSB <laughs> killer, pretty much. <laughs> Hmm. Do we go for the Angelica just to take him out? Or do we go for the Ken? Hmm. If we go for Angelica, she won't put immunity on Ken, which means I can defense break him with Tywin. Hopefully. But I'm not sure if I can one shot Ken right now without an attack buff. It is Soul Burn, though. I see Dom hits pretty hard. Hmm, I think we'll just go the safe route. We'll go Angelica. I doubt his Ken can kill my Yufin. So let's just do that. Let's try that. Oh! Did even kill. Tanky, 20k HP Angelica. Leave it to me. So now we're in a really bad spot. But hopefully Tywin can strip! Yes! Try and dodge this! Oh wow, that's a I am the strongest! Really weak Ken. Hmm. Do we focus on Ken now? I don't think my Angelica can kill her. Huh. Yeah, we'll go Angelica, actually. Oh, She's gonna baby. heal herself for a butt Let's ton. See who's but. stronger. What do you take me for? Uh, 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 I'm always ready. I will fight. Uh, Hopefully you land a defense break. Uh, uh, Come out! Uh, uh, yes, Tywin please. never misses. Can I kill though? We'll try. Shot. Nice, we can. And that Do is round one. Do I even need I'll my sword? Show, the dragon's power. show them what dragons are made of. Nice. Alright, round one. In the bag. Round two. Oh! Come on! So this is the downside to Melissa. Immunity screws her kit entirely up. So, she's like no better than Karen at this point. <laughs> uh, but I think we could still kill the the ML Ken. We'll just have to wait on Axe God. In full bloom, the sword of flowers. Now the dangerous thing here. Actually, I'm gonna go S2. Nice. I'm scared. We got the defense break. That's the most Poison. important. I'm just gonna go S2. Hopefully, Axe God targets my Melissa. 
So she has immortality with her S2. I have things to do. So that'll make her live Axe God and uh, I'll heal her back up with my Tamarine eventually. <laughs> Let's test this S2. Can we kill with my crappy build? Yes, we can. Easily. Rage and destruction. So look. Such beautiful chaos. Oh, wow. Well, you didn't Get crit. Ready. Hmm. Can we poke? I will oh! Yeah! Easy! That's a slow Mount Erinci. Like, really slow. Look how slow it is. I think it's a weaker guild, so my bad, but... Now, her S1 Soul Burn does more damage than her S2, so... But then, we don't have elemental disadvantage with her S3, so we will crit. We will crit here. For me to play? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No flower blooms <laughs> brighter than this. So that's basically how Melissa can work. You, you need a stripper. That's the whole lesson there. You need a stripper for sure. Okay, for round two, we got a Charles, a Dark Corvus, weird on defense, and a Montmorency. So the goal here is I'm gonna kill Charles with uh, Melissa's S2. So I'm gonna tag Dark Corvus with her S3 first, then try to kill a broken a defense broken Charles and that'll be round one and round two we got a pretty scary team with evasion we got violet arbiter villager and Batcat. cat so uh to kind of taking a risk here kind of taking a risk with the second team but hopefully they don't have immunity and hopefully my aura can land her stuns otherwise we might lose to the arbiter but uh yeah let's just give it a try why not take a risk I should have said that I should not have said that Okay, so Strat Gauntlet. I didn't expect that on a Dark Corvus. So high resistance. So I don't have that much effectiveness on my uh, Melissa's uh, build. So might we might resist it, but oh, I guess white flower. we'll eventually. Uh... I'll give you a rest. Hmm. Should I target it with? Maybe I go the opposite. Target the Charles. With the curse. And then kill Dark Corvus with uh, Syria. If I can land a defense break. Hmm. Then again, he doesn't have Durandal. So, we could potentially go for the girl. Hmm. Go for the girl? Let's go for the girl. So, we'll kill Charles as planned. Forever. I pledge and then we'll slowly kill Dark Corvus. Come on, defense break! Yes. Counterattack, though. Ouch. You can't close no second attack. Eyes. Lucky. Listen. Now, I don't have immunity, so... My song. Listen to me sing. Ladies, if the Charles Prox is Elbrius here, I lose. <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh, but then again, she has high resistance too, right? Oh dang, didn't think of that. So I guess we'll just go on Charles. Let's just go Charles, right? Let's go safe. Let's Enough go Charles. Playing around. Let's finish this. Oh, counterattack! Oh I have nothing to say to you. I got lucky there. I got lucky he didn't proc the second one. I might have uh might have died. Die. Yeah, immunity would be great on her. If he can. It's kind of hard to build, though. Okay. But she's uh, low HP now. So. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> My Asaria has high effect in this. this. But, uh, yeah, she's going to heal him and give him immunity, so. But I won't give up. Bit of a pickle here. Here I go. As you command. And we're still provoked. So, Dark Corvus might kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa debut's Do over. About that, Brad? This is my stage. Melissa debut has officially ended, unless. No, I think it's officially over. <laughs> Unless I can heal and he goes for someone else. Until all oh, well, he went for his area. That could be good and bad at the same time. Oh. 
So we lost our Asaria. I, and he still I has immunity. I have things to do. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get lucky on crits here. You can't close your eyes. Uh, this is why fire sucks, because Let you're hopeless against the water units, and the water units do this kind of bull crap. <laughs> You're nothing. I think Get I'm gonna have to way. hope for um I'm gonna have to hope for next turn. I think I'll do this. This is safe. I'm scared. We got Tammy's uh Ultimates. We push up. Ladies we push up. Oh, Nani! Oh, and I provoked. I'll do my best. <laughs> I think we got a soul burn. Just to heal. Not that it matters. Yeah, no. Yeah, the mom Merit sees too much. Mom Merit sees too much, so. Listen to me sing. I guess we could try to take out the mom Merit just for fun, but I lost this round. <laughs> Things to do. I will not fall victim to despair. So yeah, this is why you need, or you would want effectiveness, revenge. particularly against these kind of people. Do you know anything about that brat? Because uh, well, I do have immortality here. Wait a minute. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Perhaps not. Crit. No crit, buddy. Ninety-nine percent crit, bro. See the power of the arch demon. You can't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. Yep. Ah, uh, oh, I needed a dual attack there. Okay. Unless, Let no. You are pain away. That's a tanky Montmorency, 16k. That's pretty do. good. Hmm. I think. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Enough. Can Melissa do it? If you can't do it, you suck. <laughs> Let's Melissa. Oh, resistance! I yeah, I can't do it. You. I can't do it. This is gonna be an end cycle of. Uh... Let me take yeah. It. We lost that one. We lost that one. I think. No point wasting time. The forest yeah, immunity and resistance shuts her down if you don't have effectiveness. And as you saw there. Are you prepared for this? Pretty useless. I'll shatter. Uh oh. Maybe I should have went for a provoke here. Actually, I'm fine. Never mind. Look at me. I said so this is round two. Look at me. My cat is meowing really loud. I think we have to soul burn and kill Arbiter here. However, my aura is not on immunity. Hmm. I could get the hit chance bullcrap, but at least I'll get his uh, damage out the way. And he hasn't maxed out his S2. Interesting. Ruin. No hit chance. No. All right, Ara. Don't miss. Against total evasion characters. Okay, we killed the. This is true we killed the Arbiter. And we got a counter. I'll have you kneel but my Ara's dead. Be grateful that you get to fight. Ara, me. no. This is only a temporary alliance. Hmm, he should die from this attack. What the burns? Freeze. If not, we'll lap him. We'll lap him and kill him later. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. No oh, CC. Don't put all your faith in me. <laughs> we need a provoke. I know you have the mischance. I know he has evasion up. But we need that provoke. <laughs> no! I will show you the power of Nixie. I think we lost bros. Unless. 
Shall we go to the land? Bravo! CZ! Yes! We live another day. I am the strongest. Does he have his ultimate? Not yet. The strongest. The strongest. Nixied. Nixied. I will show you the power of Nixied. Huh. Holy! I'll send oh! You to the he has his S3 already? Oh, we're dead, dead though. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> Dang! Two round loss. Only everything would be destroyed. Well, this was risky to begin with. It was foolish to go here with the Emma Ara without immunity. That's why you have immunity on your Emma Aras, kids. Or just don't use her at all. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we lost the second match, but oh well, what can you do? Um, I suck at PvP. That's what you get. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, we got round, last round, right? The last last match. We got Ruel, S to Nibs, and then Dizzy. So I'm gonna use my ML Basar for immunity and cleanse in case the Dizzy's faster. Melissa's gonna, you know, hit someone, and then Charles is gonna AOE, and hopefully the S to Nibria targets my Melissa after I get uh, what's it called? What is it called? Immortality. There you go. And round two. We got Arbor of Vildred, Luna, and Lilius. I'm hoping my Seaside Bologna, not maxed, skilled, um, only plus three, not max awakened, uh, with a un un unupgraded uh, Rengar's Drink, like plus three. Hopefully she can do that. Hopefully she can uh, take care of everyone here. And then I have Tywin and have CC to keep her alive, so that is the plan. But yeah, let's give it a go, last match. And then I'll do some PvP just to show her off a little bit more. Um, I think she's better in PvP, ironically, fun, actually. than Guild War. Because you're just limited on the amount of units you have. You have to deal with immunity, and you have to deal with high resistance and all that stuff. So, I think she's better in normal PvP, despite what some people Losing have said. To us is an honor. But it could just be um, that... A slow Melissa is bad for Guild War, whereas a fast one, you might be more successful since it's time to draw my sword. you can get additional DPS to capitalize on the curse effect. So that Estenibria is really fast. We might be in trouble. Let's see. The time has come to determine the victor. <laughs> Oh no! Kiss my feet! The real vampire. Oh! Emma Aura! I mean, whatever his name is. <laughs> Emma Basar. Oh, nice! Ruel used her uh, Omega Ultimate. Okay, let's get rid of Dizzy, right? Is it time? She's fire. We'll have advantage here. Actually, we could just go for well. Let's just go for well. Because Charles is going to kill whoever. Uh, unless she has water's origin. Well, proof of valor. See Charles with the curse? Nice. Correct your posture. They didn't proc there though, weird enough. Watch and learn. Alright, well we have to take out the well to target. Oh nice dual attack! Charles! Yes! Disappointing. Charles debut! <laughs> Alright, Solberg. to say to you. You lose. Watch carefully. Get him, Charles. Oh yeah, that was close. But you can see the curse. Well, I guess you didn't really see anything. <laughs> she just she was just a DPS there. Yeah, uh Melissa's average. Melissa's average. Better in normal PvP, I think. Guild War, you might have some trouble with uh playing around comps. Uh but anyways, we got a tricky situation here. Lilius was fast. I will never miss. Oh you missed You missed the Arbiter, bro. Are you prepared for this? Fall. And never get back on your feet. 
On my honor as a dragon, I will punish you. Oh, my SSB got pushed back, I think. Why is she so slow? Dark Blade. Oh! oh! It's too late to back out now. <coughs> and Delilius is going again, but she's gonna be she's gonna die. Run before it's too late. I thought this could be fun. So now it's just me, SSB, and Tywin versus Arbiter. Oh wow, he missed again. Or not, Always I didn't ready. crit. Hmm. What's your CR? 38? He only pushes up 30%, right? So we can't we can't kill. Uh-oh. We lose? I think we lose. Let's do this. Oh! This is only a temporary alliance. Attack! I'm on my way. No! I won't go easy on you. My crit chance. It sucks. Ascending blade. Ascending blade. Hey, we lost. Do I need my sword? I think you need your sword, bro. Go. <laughs> and Tywin solo arbiter. Leave it to me. No, he can't. Chaos. I'm the hit chance, bro. No. <laughs> Victory is calling me. This is why Moonlight Dreamblade's good, guys. Don't run. Don't run basket. He literally won because of that. And my non-crits, unfortunately. My SSB has low crit chance. Might have to rethink that build. But yeah, that is uh that is a Guild War debut. Well this only did good in one battle, huh? She lost the other one and then she died at the end, I think. Or did we win that last one? I'm not sure. I forgot already. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's the Guild War for Melissa. Let us try some PvP just to get more matches in. Because uh, I think she excels here more than the other places. Okay, let's try facing this guy with Well, ML Ken, SSB, and Lilius. All top tier units, right? I'll well, show you who's in charge. Let's see how I do. I haven't faced this comp before with this team. And she has immunity. Do we strip the immunity is the question. Or do we go for someone else? Hmm. What's the play? One shot ammo can. Let's try. In full bloom. The sword of flowers. Sword of flowers. Can we strip though? Yes we can. But idols cheer. Uh-oh. I, I she pushed back my Euphine probably too much. To my song. I don't think the Emil Ken can be a threat right now, but gentlemen. if Euphine doesn't go before SSB, Get we might be in trouble. Way. And also, Lilius cleansed the defense break. Oh, forgot about that. But what's the play now? SSB? SSB? Let's go SSB. I will not fall victim to despair. I will have my revenge. I have oh, that's a really weak SSB. Hmm. Well, she's probably going to come back is the problem. ML can... Will do is S3. He will do his S3. So I think just in case, let's go immortality. <laughs> Hit the URL. It's gonna push ML Ken up. He's gonna do his S3. We killed SSB can. with the, the passive curse, right? It does 40% of the original damage. He's gonna bring back Don't SSB. So do we. Wait, does Euphine strip first and then do their her damage? Stronger. Didn't they change that to Did they change that? Or does she not get the bonus? Cuz if she doesn't get the bonus, I'm dead. <laughs> I think I'm dead. 
Hmm. I forgot. Science? Let's go science. Dragon blade. Okay. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> but we stun. I never lose. I'm not sure if that's good or not. I'll give you a rest. Well, let's give him a rest. Let's uh, let's tag her actually. Target. This and then is my dual spear. attack for the kill. Don't worry. Nice. On my word. Trying to get defense break. Nice. Although we died. Dare you? He's proof of valor, Emma Ken. Do you know anything about that brat? We'll have to soul burn if we had one any chance of killing them. Attack down. Ouch. Show me what but Im got. immortality. See? But she's gonna attack anyway, this so way. we're dead. <laughs> oh! Sure. We went for the wrong one. Push up, Shine Melissa! Free. You can't close your eyes. Then we have to go here, right? Yes. <laughs> Just in case my tamarind can't kill. Things to do. Oof of Valor I'm okay. Interesting. Not so good sight. I think I'm going to go away. You've made it this far. But no further. Now it's Lilius versus Melissa. You're nothing. You resist it. Get out of my way. Still a long way to go. Lens? Tamarine? Nice. Alright, we just auto. Auto the rest. Ooh, that was close. We kind of failed there, but we did stun the SSB, luckily. That won us the game. But that doesn't go to, in to invincibility. We didn't know that. I thought it just spelled first. And then did the extra damage. Based off uh, it having a buff. But yeah, Melissa survived. She's the only one that survived. <laughs> Because of the immortality. I do like the immortality S2. I think her S2 is very strong. S1 kind of sucks. I wish the the soul burn was on her S2. Because her S3 multipliers, 1.2, that's not very strong. Um, I think that kind of holds her back a bit. Because you're always going to go S3 into S2. You're never going to go S1. Nice counter attack props. Alright, soul burn, attack up, target. Not enough. But... Oh yeah, a real DPS damage. <laughs> the show never stops. Maybe she'll be better when she gets her exclusive equipment eventually. Perhaps there, there's potential for her in the future. But for right now, um, only summon for waifu. She's she's so so, she's so so. Uh, but yeah, that is gonna be it for the Melissa debut. I'm gonna be having a guide up um, in the next couple days. Hopefully tomorrow after this. Um, and yeah, I'll try to put her through some PVE content, even though it's not that relevant. Uh, for her specifically, because they they made it so her effect doesn't proc on bosses. I wish this was I wish this was at least half. Like the effect would be halved versus bosses instead of just completely useless. That kind of ruins her for PVE. Because why would you use her <laughs> otherwise? Um, but yeah, that is Melissa debut. These are my stats. Pretty decent. Pretty decent damage. Not max portrait. So. Potential for more damage, more skill damage as well. 10% missing here, 20% missing here, and S1, eh. Debatable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to uh, check out my Epic 7 reroll guide if you're new. That'll be in the end screen annotations. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Melissa guide. So stay tuned for that by smashing that like button, commenting down below, what do you think of Melissa? And I'll, you know, Read the comments and uh, hopefully that will make the guy better for tomorrow. So leave your comments down below what kind of builds you think are good for her, what kind of comps you think are good for her, whether she's good at all, or if you just want her for her tummy and holding uh, art here. So yeah, smash that like button and subscribe for more Epic 7 epicness.